I definitely see tap dancing in my life for the rest of my life. I couldn't live without it. I'm approaching my 20th anniversary of tap dancing. I started when I was eight and I'm 27. I was a senior in college getting a biology degree thinking, yeah, I love to tap dance, but who does that for a living? I, don't, I couldn't do that. I definitely had what I call an ignition moment where I saw other people on stage performing and I was already in tap class but it wasn't the same wasn't the same style of tap and when I saw these professional soloists on stage just being themselves being honest and doing what they did best I was like whoa I have to do that I think what I liked about tap over everything else was you get to make music. It's like having a musical instrument attached to you. The first time I stepped in front of a live audience, I was really nervous. Now there's a balance between worrying about what people are gonna think and just being in that moment. And I don't get nervous, I get more excited. I might be anxious for the show to start, but I'd rather be on stage than doing anything else. I always feel so lucky that I found tap dance because I think it's so important for everyone to find what they're really passionate about. I teach tap to kids as young as four all the way up through older adults. So if I can share my excitement and find maybe it's just one kid in the class that goes, oh, wait a second, like this is me, this is what I need to do, I love this, I don't want to do anything else, then that's worth it. Tap dancing is all about telling a story and telling your story about your own experience. So the more life experience you have, the more you have to say. I definitely see tap dancing in my life for the rest of my life. I couldn't live without it. I'm a performer. I'm a collaborator. I'm an artist.